All right, what's up, fellas? Mark Parson, cornerback pro, former NFL cornerback of the Houston Texans, New Orleans Saints, and now I'm coaching you guys up. All right, so this video, we're going to talk about cover two corner. Um, I'm going to make a whole bunch of videos and share my experience with it um, in different coverages, zone, two, four, you know, man, of course, because we got a whole bunch of videos. So um, stay tuned for all of that. All right, so this is me when I was with the Saints. No, oh, yeah, by the way, the, the this video footage isn't great quality. All right. I'm not a video editor. That's not what I do. That's not my skill that necessarily I worked on. But I teach football. All right. I teach cornerbacks. So understand that. I like it like that, man. Sometimes I like it. I like it raw, man. So like, you know, only the guys who are really serious and hungry are gonna <laughs> go through the clutter and maybe it's not that clear, you know. So that's what I like. I like I like the the grungy gym, the grungy weight room type type vibe anyways. All right. So make sure you guys also email me at cornerbackpro at gmail.com. Ask for the one-on-one -on -one mastery program, uh, mind and body training, how to go pro guide, catching series. Like, it took me, like, really took me about three months to put everything together, including the recruiting stuff. So that's the next level value, man. I already got almost 800 videos up on here, so it's crazy amount of free information on here. So no excuses for guys not to really reach, the, reach and go for uh, the dream. All right. So cover two corner. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you first. All right, so I want to show you first how I played it. Now, cover two corner, cloud corner against the run. When I played for New Orleans, our coach wanted us to be really aggressive against the run, but not be too aggressive to where we get pinned inside because what is the corner? The corner hat is our last, is our outside line of defense. So you can't get pinned, number one, number one rule, all right? If you do go inside, you got to be right. Now, I, t I show you how to, when you get off a block, what you're supposed to do. So if I can beat him, theoretically, if I can beat him inside, I got to get up field so I can make this running back cut it up so I, and possibly still make the tackle. But at the end of the day, he has to cut it up. So I cannot come in here and get pinned in. So how we would think about it is this, from alignment, if the receiver is really wide, let's see the receiver is out here. And I'm playing flat corner, basically like four yards off, right, of the ball, line of scrimmage. And I read run, I can buzz my feet and kind of, I can shuffle like inch in here. And if I see run to me, well, now it doesn't have to necessarily be run to me. But if he's really wide and I can beat him inside from that stalk, that stalk block inside, and I, I get up field and make him cut up, that's a win, but I got to be right. Now, if it's a really tight, let's say he was, had a tight split, you definitely don't want to do that because you, you'd be screwed. So don't do that. So his split isn't really tight. It's not really wise in the middle. So I got my eyes inside. Now, look, some of the things that you can read to see if it's going to be a run or not really quickly, really quickly. All right. If his hat goes down, like I can read the, my last guy on the uh, offensive line. Usually if their hat goes down, what is it probably? Most likely it's a run because he's run blocking. Now, if his hat goes up, it's pass blocking. Now, does, does that mean necessarily he's going to be a pass, not going to be a run? No, but the percentages go up because you can have a draw, a guy pass block, pass pro, and it'd be a draw, right? So understand that. But most likely the percentages goes up. So if he run, I can kind of inch in there. I can kind of shuffle in there and shoot it, okay? Get up field. So shoot him, beat the block, get up field, make him cut it up. Now, if I can't, if I know I can't get in there, I need to make sure I maintain my leverage. Now, so that's number one. I'm going to show you one more. I'm going to show you again. See what I did. So I was like, okay, can't beat him inside. Still get in on the tackle. All right. Another thing. A lot of guys ask me how to get off blocks. Now, I've posted a few videos where I'm actually demonstrating you, demonstrating to you guys how to get off blocks. Um, basically, three. Three simple techniques of how to get off blocks. Now, right here, this guy's bigger than me. Now, I don't know if, if he's strong than me, but he's bigger than me. I'm telling you right now, this receiver. Receivers don't like the block, though, okay? So, most likely. But here's the thing. I get control of him. I have control of him. How do I have control of him? When, when we engage, it's my, it's my hands, man. I strike inside of his chest. So, I show. I'm going to show you right here. So I have control of him, right? So I have, I'm inside of his chest. So I show myself right here to make this running back cut it up. 
And then I, at the same time, I sling him out the way to still get in a tackle. Because here's the thing. Some guys were like, okay, my coach says I got to be outside. So I got to make sure I can make the, the running back cut it up. I got to be outside. And then you get washed out. You just let, you just get outside. You don't, you know, you don't really show anything. You don't have your hands inside of his chest. All right. Inside of his shoulder pads. And you're not really controlling. He's controlling you, which we never want the receiver to control us. Even when the man covers on our one-on-ones, he's not dictating what we do. We're dictating what he does. We're always in control. So right here, instead of us just getting blocked and washed out, like, well, coach, I stayed outside. Nah, I'm right here. I'm controlling. I want to show to this running back, hey, it's time to cut up, buddy. Why? Why? Because I got 10 other guys who should be sprinting over here to help me make this tackle. Now let's finish. So I get off of him. And still help out on the tackle. Okay? I want to show you something. Another thing. I'm not getting... So I'm stout right here too. So let's see how many yards I actually... Because he ends up getting five yards on this, right? He doesn't push me back at all. Okay? So I couldn't beat the guy inside. Especially with that split. Alright? I'm not. It's not like a blitz. It's not like you're just going to take off. Because if it is a pass, I still want to get my reroute. So I'm reading run. And I see it. So I see run to me. I have my eyes inside. I can see the running back. I make sure I show presence outside. Get rid of the, the receiver. Get rid of the receiver. Never, You should never stay on a block. You need to get rid of that guy. All right? And then help out on the tackle. So, again, you know, Depending on how your coach teaches it, our coach in New Orleans, he wanted his hard. So, like, run to me. If this guy was a little wider, and let's say I wasn't necessarily at four yards, and it was a heavy rundown. That's another reason why you definitely want to make sure you're studying film on your on, on the opposition, on the other team. Because you'll start to know, like, okay, down in distance, their percentages, they run this. They run, it's a running down. Or it's a passing down. So now you can know exactly what they need. So you can be, and matter, you know, the coach may tell you, he may be like, uh, you know, it possibly is a run right here because of this and that. You'd be like, okay, coach, that's why, that's why you want to um, talk to your coaches on the sideline and make sure you go over this all week long. See, in the NFL, you got a lot of time to do that, you know, but uh, high school, probably not. But now you guys got huddle now, so it's a little different. But look, I knew I couldn't beat him inside, right? He, he got right here on the stalk block. All right, and I engage. I make sure that I am controlling him. I got my hands inside. The guy who has his hands inside is going to be the person controlling. So never let anybody get in your chest. That's that's another thing. And get in on the tackle. Never let the guy just wash you out, even if you're outside. And do not, do not get pinned inside. Because what happened is if you get pinned in here, let's say I, I shoot it and I don't win. That's what I said. If you go inside, you got to win. If I shoot it and I don't win and he pins me, what's going to happen is running back's going to go whoop and he's going to bounce outside and then it's a hard tackle for everybody else who's going to get this first down. So it's very important for us as run defenders. See, we think pass first. As DBs, as corners, we're thinking pass first, number one. But we also need to help out in the run game. We got to be solid tacklers. That's Again, that's what I learned, man. I ain't learned that really. Well, I knew it, but I didn't really take that seriously until I got to the NFL because, you know, it's either do what you need to do or you get cut and you're out of here. All right. So I just want to show you that. Um, hopefully you guys are improving your skills every single day. We're going to post some more videos on cover two, cover three, cover four, man. And uh, we got a lot of videos to go. Okay. So improve your skills every single day. Get better. Keep working. Work to be great. Stay tuned for the next video. Make sure you guys email me, guys. Hit me up. Ask me for the one-on-one -on -one mastery and all the programs. And, uh, man, I'm excited. Make sure you send also testimonials. If, if you've been watching my channel for a while, it's been like five years now. Uh, if you've been watching my channel for a while and you're actually applying the information, yo, feel free to hit me up, man. I really like those. All right? Peace.